11, some high school students in Henry County are demanding that teachers accused of using the N-word in front of the class be fired. And tonight, the superintendent's office is confirming that at least two of those teachers are being disciplined, but cannot disclose what the punishment is. John Sherrick reports students protested inside the school this afternoon and say their school's principal and teachers approved. Students at Luella High School protesting teachers who used the N-word in class. The teacher um, was saying the N-word. Christopher Wright and Shalise Stafford say one of the teachers who is white wouldn't stop using the word. And people didn't like it, so she kept saying it over and over again. She was saying, like, you could say it, I could say it, it's just the word and everything. And the students was like, no, you cannot say that because I don't feel you feel comfortable with you saying that. She was like... No, but it's just the word. Students reported the teacher to the principal who offered an apology on the intercom a week later. Students, black and white, demanding more. She should, she should be fired and shouldn't be able to use that word ever again, not even in public or around other black people. It's like disrespect. You should respect our feelings. Just because you don't feel that way doesn't mean we don't feel that way. The superintendent's office sent us an email saying employment action has been taken against the employees but that by law, administrators are not allowed to disclose any more information. Students considering more protests with the support, they say, of their schools, teachers and administrators. The teachers and the administrators was actually supporting us. That was surprising. We thought that they were going to write everyone up and they was going to send everyone back to class. Yeah. But they made sure we stayed and, like, it's okay to do that. You speak for what you think is right. A lesson these students are more than willing to put into practice again. A Henry County school spokesperson tells us the district does not condone the alleged actions, which is why a thorough investigation was called for to get to the bottom of what happened.